Nityanam guys, welcome you back. I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. Today's video I want to share about will persistence. A simple click I had recently. Um, I was watching a video and they were talking about willpower. And I was contemplating on will and, uh, and, uh, and cognizing what Swamiji has shared with us in various discourses, the various satsangs. And um, he was saying, willpower is will arrogance and what you should go towards is will persistence. Then I was like, when you will something, when you really, really want something, you won't give up. That is why will persistence is actually real willpower. Not the willpower is like, I want it, blah, blah, and then you go intense, and then if it doesn't happen within the lapse of time that you want it to happen, you just drop the whole thing and collapse and, and give up and then move on. That's not will persistence. That's not real will. When you actually want something, you're not going to stop until you get it. So that's why it is will persistence. To see if you really will something, if you really want something to happen in your life, see how, pers how persistent you are into making that a reality into your life. You know, we have to look in like, how much do I want it? And, and look at the way, how much lifetime and energy you invest into that. So that's a click that I had. And it is important to be, we, we are taught, especially in today's world, we are taught will arrogance we see in the movies and all that stuff you know it's instant you know you want something you get it now and then if you don't get it it was like oh i don't know i can't do it uh, yeah. and then you get into this self-doubt self-hatred self-denial uh which is a very bad it is the worst space you can get into so so no it's all about the persistence it's all about the persistence and yeah sanatana hindu dharma sanatana means eternal it is eternal because it is the pure consciousness. It is the science of pure consciousness. Hinduism is nothing but the science of pure consciousness. And all the various ways that you can experience, experience that pure consciousness. Because it is oriented towards pure consciousness, it's eternal. If it's eternal, it means it is persisting. If it is persisting, that means it is will. It is the real will. So that's why even you go to the extent of para manifestation, it's just a test of your will persistence. It's just to see, do you want it or you don't want it? And you should and restore your integrity. Like that, we use these, these practices to restore our integrity with ourselves, to come back to a space of pure will, will persistence, because we have forgotten that space. We have it, but it's forgotten because we did not invest in it. We were not taught that was the right space to operate from. We were told that we should operate from a different space, from the environment we grew up and the understanding that were given to us as a young age, and also the bio memory we carry from the previous birth. So all this combined is making us forget these principles and we have to come back to these principles. And that is why Hinduism is so important, because it is there to teach the world the space of will persistence. And uh, yeah, I'll make another video about it, but will per to be persistent, you have to be nonviolent. A violent person cannot last eternally because he boils within himself. At some point he cracks, he breaks. But when you're established in a space of nonviolence, you can continue forever because you are uh, in that persistence, in that eternal space. So yes, that's what I wanted to share with you today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, like, subscribe and help. We have to stand for Hinduism. We have to help Hinduism revive. We have to Hindus have to be proud of Hinduism. Somehow, I, somehow it seems that the Hindus are not proud of Hinduism. Uh, English men, when they came to India, they kind of made Hindus look like fools. They made Hindus believe they were fools. And now it's that self-denial is too deep into the Hindu identity. And we have to complete that. And we have to come back and assert that amazingness that is Sanatana Hindu Dharma. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Nityanandam.